Good morning, everybody. Today, I'm gonna to be doing a little tour of the James Peak Wilderness. This is an area that's right in my backyard and I haven't explored as much as I would like. So today, I'm gonna to do a little bit of trail running, fly fishing, hiking, and scrambling to just kind of get a feel for this overall area. I just ran about five miles to my first stop, which is this lake up here, and I see fish rising. So I'm gonna get the fly rod out and see if we can start the tour of James Peak off with a bang and catch some cutthroat trout. Well, I've missed a couple to start things off. I blame it on forgetting bug spray and my legs getting massacred by mosquitoes right now. But there's definitely some fish rising. I have a little bit too big of a bug on. Probably time to change, but just being lazy, enjoying these incredible views, and I'm sure we'll get a cutthroat in the net here before long. Change of plans. My only little caddis that I had has disappeared. I just had it, so it must be somewhere in this grass. So we're gonna go the terrestrial route, see if we can fool him with that. This looks delicious, look at this little beetle. You can't say no to that. Lake fish love a good beetle. Finally. Wasn't easy. There we go. Well, my camera just overheated, but we got our first fish of the day here. Beautiful Cuddy. There she goes. In typical filming fishing fashion, when I finally managed to trick one of these fish, my camera that's been sitting in the sun filming the whole time overheats. But I got a little bit on the GoPro, got that fish back right away. It was actually one of the better sized fish that I've seen in here, so I'm happy with that. Couldn't get skunked here, so fish probably longer than I should have. Onward to the next lake and the next stop on my tour of the James Peak Wilderness. <laughs> Well, I just got to the second lake here and second cast miss a very good sized cutthroat. This lake is known for having much bigger fish and I missed three strikes because one, I was messing around with the camera. One, he just came up super slow and I got excited and now I lost my fly. So I'm hoping I have a good alternative. You literally can't make this up. Now the second fish of the day after missing a couple really nice ones up here. The battery dies on the camera. I am having a lot of technical difficulties today, but thank you for sticking through it. I figure I better stop my... Oh. Ah. Nice one. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh. 
Here we go. Finally one of the big guys. No! One's looking at it. Oh! What a fish in there. Oh! Missed fish. 58. Well, fishing hasn't improved for me much. I've probably missed about five other fish, all in the 14 to 18 inch range from what I can tell. One of them, I, um, I was getting it from the line onto the reel, and of course my line got tangled in all these willows, which have been my nemesis for casting this entire time. In that little bit of slack, one guy got off. I am fishing like a bozo today, but I've had a ton of action. I have incredible views, so I can't ask for anything more than that. My clock is telling me it's time for the tour to continue. And the reason I wanna leave, even though I could stay and fish at this lake all day, is that there's some clouds building. It's 11.30, and the next section of my tour is gonna take me up a little higher. So I wanna make sure that I am down from there in case any systems come in. This easily could have been a day of catching 15 trout. Instead, I caught two. But that's just the way it goes sometimes. I think it's time for me to fuel up a little, hydrate, and continue the tour. From here, my climb goes over a steep pass, and that's when the tour will move to the next section. I think it's gonna be good to hike a little, get the fishing frustration out of me. This is where the next phase of my tour of the James Peak Wilderness begins. You might think I'm gonna go up James Peak, which would be my usual MO, but I'm gonna trick you. From here, I'm gonna run along the ridge line for four or five miles, have Winter Park here behind me, and I'm gonna to try to find a route to get back to another trail, go off trail for a little bit, but super excited to get up on this ridge line. The vistas are completely opened up. So I'm gonna put the camera in the pack, get the backpack not floppy and do some running. This ridge line is an amazing run. I'm to my next set of lakes. They look like the snow's just coming off of them, which is always cool to see in August. I couldn't ask for better views, and as soon as I got past the lake, I've lost the crowds, and I feel like I have the whole place to myself. This is that James Peak wilderness experience I was after. Well, here are where things get potentially a little spicy and interesting. I'm right above the lake where I want to cut down to and take the trail that goes to that lake back to my car. So I'm going to have to find the best kind of gully to scree ski my way down. I'm going to take my time scoping it out, find the best route. It looks like the ones right behind me are pretty steep. This run along the ridge line is awesome. The views on both directions are stunning. That's why I love a good ridge line. And I love that I'm seeing all the different lakes that are in the James Peak Wilderness as I go by, looking for fish from above. I think I've found my gully. It's not the best, but it's definitely not the worst either. Not so bad coming down here. A little loose, a little steep, but no moves that have been extra frightening thus far. I think I'm past the worst of it. Well, I should have brought the skis. That would have been the easiest way by far. And I also could have had a few turns behind me. It would have been about 16 miles of carrying them for four turns, but imagine how good those four turns would be. Am I skiing it after all? I just must have found the greatest Indian paintbrush meadow in all of Colorado. 
These are as vivid as it comes. Wow. I don't see any active rising trout, so instead of pulling out the rod, I decided to take a much needed dip, which just felt heavenly after all that running up there. And from here, I think I'm almost to the main trail and should be able to cruise back to my car pretty quickly. I don't know how long it's been because my watch died as usual, but I think this whole route is around 16 miles or so. Thank you so much for following along my tour of the James Peak Wilderness. I think the route I did was stunning. It was such a good introduction to this area. And I just had a blast, like all the lakes, running on the ridge line, the epic views. I will definitely be back for more and we'll definitely be back to catch some of those bigger fish as well. Until next time, I'll catch you on that next adventure.